John Deere, Kinsey, uh, White manufacturers, they all strap to the seed tube. Very easy to put on. Uh, two tie straps, and we've mounted there for about 16 years and never had to go away from it. And the reason why we don't put a lot of pressure in the seed furrow, and it's easy to install. You don't have to take disc blades and gauge wheels off of the planter in order to mount the rebounder on. Plus, we have the uh, uh, capability of putting on starter fertilizer with the Y splitter, which will put it on the side wall of the seed trench and it doesn't get on the seed. And even though you're putting on five, six gallons, whatever you're putting on, you're not uh, putting a concentration directly on the seed. I had a gentleman in uh, Minnesota this year uh, cut one of his rebounders off and he said, instead of calling you, he said, I, I went ahead and planted and he says, I just run the hose down in the furrow, put it directly on and he said, all the rest of them had the Y splitter on it and he says that he was putting on uh, five, six gallons of a starter and he said he burned the seed on that one row and he says it would have paid me to next day air in one of these and put, back, put that back on. But he said, I, he says I ruined a good stand of corn on one row uh, by doing that. He says I lost from, um, oh, in that 10 to 12,000 plants per acre in that. And he said some of the others was stunted. He says, I had an uneven emergence and things. So he says, I'll never again go without the Y splitter.